What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got some awesome information for you guys, but before we get into that, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first. Now let's go ahead and first start off with some beware when it comes to the new year in 2023. There are all sorts of rumors, leaks, and things that are starting to pop up because of how naive gamers are to listen to any of this information and especially with sites like 4chan and also with places like Twitter where news can spread like a wildfire you have to be very careful about some of the stuff that is coming up now a couple things that I want to talk about recently is because of the supposed OLED leak where we discussed the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom potentially getting a OLED themed version of it now that's not really too surprising Obviously, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a massive game, and I'm pretty sure Nintendo is going to try to take advantage of that with special editions and also a special Nintendo Switch as well, since they missed out on that on the first Nintendo Switch. So I think that's going to happen, and there's usually always some sort of special themed Legend of Zelda system, whether it's the Nintendo 3DS, the Wii U got one. I mean, it's always been around, right? So I think that this is probably going to happen with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED. But now piggybacking off of it, we're starting to see rumors come about about Nintendo Switch with the Nintendo Switch Online, with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which that online pamphlet when it comes to the Nintendo Switch Online is real, but the whole thing surrounding it. I'm starting to see stuff where people are saying that there's co-op with this and that, and they detail the features based off the pamphlet. So what I'm trying to say here is that there's starting to be more rumors surrounding Nintendo and what they're doing for this year. Now, there was also a new rumor, but it's not really a rumor, that Nintendo, like the last big game that they have for the Nintendo Switch is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I guess they're not counting Pikmin 4 as a big game, or maybe they feel that might launch before, but either way, whatever. The point is, you're going to start seeing a lot of rumors come about, okay? And a lot of this stuff can be solved with like basic, you know, just looking at it logically. Like when it comes to Nintendo kind of doing like the last when it comes to the Switch development, yeah, duh, because they told us back in 2021 with their investor meeting that, yeah, we've got a bunch of cash here, about a billion dollars that we're investing into software development. And on top of that, we got R&D, capital expenditures, and efforts will be made in multiple different areas. So we already know that they're moving on to the next thing and the Switch is on its last type of legs, right? Heck, they even talked about this, like I said, back in 2021 with this slide as well, expanding the Nintendo IP, the Nintendo accounts, and their next integrated hardware software next gaming system it says it right there you combine that with the billion dollar investment yeah duh that's not going to be all towards the nintendo switch they already told their investors a couple years ago now at this point that they are moving on and that they're investing into that because you're not investing a billion dollars into the regular nintendo switch so just be careful guys there's a lot of people out there that are just saying things saying that it's rumor they're going to start to put up stuff that looks real but probably isn't at the end of the day. Now, I think that the Nintendo Switch OLED with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I think that's real. But just look out because you're going to start getting people putting up all sorts of stuff. I've seen now multiple different rumors. And heck, we're going to cover another rumor in just a bit. But I've now seen multiple different rumors on various stuff with Legend of Zelda and all sorts of things popping up on 4chan and stuff like that. And that's not to say that all of them will end up being wrong or false because some of them end up being right. But I'm just saying people are getting way kind of crazier now at this point now that it's 2023 now that we're kind of hearing some murmurs about the next nintendo switch now that tears of the kingdom is going to be launching soon now all of a sudden you're going to start seeing stuff pop up some of it may be true a lot of it's probably going to be false so just be on the lookout for that guys and i'm not going to cover the crazy things that people are saying like i saw like some once again like legend of zelda co-op type of stuff that where you can do this and that and all this stuff is detailed i'm like okay yeah we'll just have to wait and see what nintendo has to say so unless it's from somewhere that i know this kind of feels like more credible or something like that nah i'm not gonna be buying a lot of this stuff that's coming out so what do you guys think about this when it comes to what nintendo is going to be doing in the future and kind of what's going on with some of the rumors and the leaks out there like how do you feel about it how are you going to be safeguarding yourself let me know in the comment section below all right and moving on to the next topic here guys it looks like bandai namco and nintendo are still working on that supposed 3d action game collaboration with each other nintendo bandai namco now we covered this 
quite a while ago. Now, we've thought about all sorts of stuff here on Player Since A lot of you guys have said, okay, well, maybe it's going to be Star Fox Assault, some type of remaster of Star Fox Assault, which I think it still could be that because Bandai Namco did work on Star Fox Assault. And from what I remember, I thought it was going to be a remaster and a classic IP or something that Nintendo already has. So once again, people are saying, okay, Star Fox Assault, that could be it. Now, other people feel that the game could be Kid Icarus Uprising and bringing that game back because there's been actual rumors with credible people in the industry and insiders that have said that Nintendo is working on Kid Icarus, a remaster, and maybe Bandai Namco is the company to do it. I know Jeff Grubb talked about it. I think there's been other people as well that have talked about it. I've heard a little bit of stuff here and there about Kid Icarus coming back and Bandai Namco potentially being that developer. So we just don't know at this point, but I'll say one thing because this is an exciting topic that I can really discuss for a very long time. I would love to see it. Either one would be great. If it's Kid Icarus Uprising brought back HD remastered, whatever the case is, that would be incredible. A remake, a remaster, whatever the case is. I would love to see that. And Bandai Namco is hiring on more. They're hiring on more with these listings. So it's still happening. And if it was Star Fox Assault, that would also be great too. Like we haven't had a really hype Star Fox game in a long time. And yes, Assault is not a new game and neither is Kid Icarus Uprising. But at the same time, like they're still really good games. And I think that the Switch could use a Star Fox. I mean, the Switch does have 3D action games. So Kid Icarus Uprising is dope and everything. Like I would love that. I'm a huge Kid Icarus Uprising fan. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But a Star Fox Assault? I think that would be really cool to get a game like that because we haven't had like a new Star Fox game in quite some time. And honestly, if you look at it, like all the Star Fox games we've been getting have been like re-releases of like Star Fox 64. So like the last one that we got was Star Fox Zero, which is just basically a retelling of it. And then there was like Star Fox on Nintendo 3DS, which is just a port of the or remaster whatever you want to call it of the 64 version so we did get command you know we did get some of them but i think that assault is a game that a lot of people haven't played and it'd be really cool if they remastered that game and put it on nintendo switch i think that would just be so much fun add some online multiplayer in there i think it'd be lit i think it'd be super lit i mean in a perfect world we would get star fox assault or we get a new star fox game plus we would also get kid Icarus uprising you know on the nintendo switch but if you go back to it and if you look at like what i personally would like so much it'd be kid Icarus. Because like Kid Icarus Uprising, it's one of those games that the only real issue with the game is the fact of like the control scheme. Like the control scheme with not having a dual analog setup to control the camera and all that just makes it super wonky. Either you're using one hand and one on the stylus, then one on the controller and, you know, moving it around that way. And for people with big hands, good luck when it comes down to that. Or you're using like the face buttons for the control. Or you're using like a whole little stand thing that came with it. So obviously there's some ridiculous control options in this game and a second analog stick would fix like the major issue in this game because everything else is incredible the story is long has a lot of depth it's also got really cool difficulty sliders and all that it's got tons of content secrets abilities different weapons to collect and unlock and it's got a full three versus three multiplayer which i think you can still play to this point i mean it is phenomenal what they're able to do with this game on the nintendo 3ds so imagine if they took that and made that experience even better and refined it then put that on the nintendo switch that would be super cool let's see what happens here guys i'm one of those people that where you know at this point i know that the nintendo switch it's kind of winding down a bit and these are going to be some filler games that are going to kind of come in at the end and help out get the transition from the nintendo switch to the next nintendo switch i think 2023 is going to be that year uh when it comes down to when it comes to the end of the year and everything so i think it's exciting it's exciting and i hope that is Kid Icarus Uprising, but I'd be fine with a Kid Icarus Uprising. I'd be fine with a F-Zero. I'd be fine with a Star Fox. I'd be fine with any of this when it comes down to it. Just give us something classic. Give us something that fans have been wanting and uh, make it a dope remaster. I'm all good for it. So what do you guys think about this when it comes to this Bandai Namco Nintendo collaboration on a 3D action remaster? That's kind of came about from last year and then also kind of coming about this year as well with more people being added on to the project. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here, guys. We've got a very interesting thing because while Persona 3 Remaster is coming out soon, like it's coming out this month in January, there is a new rumor that apparently has some credible backing to it where Persona 3 could be getting a remake. Now, we talked about this before, and we're going to get into the article with Atlas teasing many different stuff that's happening. And Persona 3 is a really weird game at times. Like, it's not necessarily too modern. So... There might be some incentive to do this. There might be, but let's get into it here. So, 
Insider reconfirms Persona 3 remake development, and Insider reconfirms a leak they previously shared, restating that a remake of Persona 3 is still in development at Atlas. So, a leaker previously revealed Atlas is working on a remake of Persona 3, reconfirms the game's development. What's next for the Persona franchise has been a mystery since the release of Persona 5 Royal in 2019, as Atlas has lingered on the RPG, bringing it to PC, PS5, Switch, and Xbox consoles in 2022. So, Hold up, let me just revise a little bit of this. Persona 5, I know Royal came out in 2019, there was new content, but originally this game goes back to 2016 in Japan as a release, and then 2017 in the West. So they've been kind of milking this, or they've been kind of using this Persona 5 and that name, also with Persona 5 Strikers, a separate game. They've been using that since 2016 slash 2017. So yeah, it's been a little bit. Now, with that behind it, with Persona 5 Royal, obviously you got it out on all consoles. Atlas seems to be primed to move on to the next major Persona release, yet it might not be Persona 6 at all, but rather another opportunity for Persona 3. And the release of Persona 3 started what many could say is an origin of the Persona franchise's current momentum. While the original Persona 3 release on PlayStation 2 performed poorly next to the first and second Persona games, its remakes, Persona 3 FES and Persona 3 Portable, both elevated the release significantly, which is all true. Those releases helped build a larger Western audience, which has led to franchise growth for Persona 4, Persona 5, and many additional spin-off releases. Now, Atlas confirmed early New Year's Day morning that it has significant plans for 2023. These plans will start with the previously announced ports of Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden, remastered for modern platforms. However, Atlas also confirmed that several unreleased new titles are being prepared though no specific names or clues were provided, clearly, right? This has since prompted a larger conversation within the Persona fandom. Now, on Reset Era, fans have been speculating on what Persona announcements could be forthcoming from Atlas in 2023. One user brought up a long-standing rumor regarding a Persona 3 remake, questioning if it was still happening with Atlas now re-releasing Persona 3 Portable. This prompted a response from this insider here, which I'm going to list on the screen, who previously leaked news of Persona coming to the Xbox Game Pass in 2022. According to this person, the Persona 3 remake is real still. A follow-up comment asking why Atlas would re-release Persona 3 Portable if a remake was in development also received an answer. They explained, quite simply, it's Atlas. <laughs> oh goodness gracious, well, it's Atlas, that's why. More specifically, they say an updated Persona 3 Portable release will bring the whole Persona saga to new consoles. Atlas can capitalize on the original game and then on the remake with its Persona 5 light graphics and quality of life improvements later. Now to be clear, this leaker never says that Persona 3 Remake is one of Atlas's planned announcements for 2023. It's entirely possible the remake, if it does exist, will launch much later. That would give Persona 3 Portable Relaunch plenty of time to breathe, without an official confirmation from Atlas though. Persona fans will just have to wait and see what Atlas has planned next for the increasingly popular RPG franchise. So yes, Persona is as popular as it's ever been. Between Persona 5 Royal on the PlayStation systems and how great that game did with the original base Persona 5, then also with Persona 5 Strikers selling over 1 million units on all the systems, and then also Persona 5 the re-release, Persona 5 Royal re-release on Nintendo Switch and Xbox and also PS5 again, and that doing extremely good on the Nintendo Switch, already over a million units. So yeah, Persona 5, Persona just in general, is super popular at this point. It's very popular, people are excited, and they've made a ton of money off of it. But what are they gonna be doing next? I can totally see Atlas just saying, yeah, well, it's Atlas. They kind of do stuff like this, kind of surprise you with certain things, and maybe you didn't expect it, but then you never saw it coming, right? It's in the song. So I feel that this is definitely possible. Now, am I believing everything that's being said here? Absolutely not. But that doesn't mean it's not a possibility that they would bring back Persona 3, but then also make it modernized, like make it towards like Persona 5, kind of put in a bunch of stuff, because Persona 3, man, you'll see when you play it, it's kind of like a product of when it came out. Now, is it still really good? Absolutely. Persona 3 Portable, Persona 3 FES, I mean, they're all great. I like the PS2 one FES, I like that one. I think it's dope, but they're all great, right? But I feel that if it was remade, they can do a lot of things, and I think that more people would probably buy that remake, especially if the graphics were updated and everything, because people were already complaining. When they showed off those screenshots or whatever, their people were like, what the heck is this? Especially when you compare it to Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion, 
oh man, it makes it look really bad. And that's like PSP title versus PSP title, right? And they're both remastered, supposedly. Although Square Enix did say, hey, it's more like a remake more so than a remaster. But you guys get the gist of what I'm saying, right? That was in depth and this is nowhere near that. So I can see Atlas saying, Hey, you know what? Let's remake this baby, and it's going to be good. People are going to like it. If we remake it, we can use the same engine for Persona 5. Graphics can be dope. Like, I think this would be pretty good, and people would buy it and make a lot of money. So we get a lot of remasters and remakes and re-releases and all that these days, so it would not surprise me at all. And yes, I'd be like day one on buying that. I'm going to pick up Persona 3 Portable, but I've already played it, and I have it on the original hardware and everything. But I'm probably going to pick it up, but I'll say this. I will honestly say this. I'm probably not going to play it because it comes out right before Fire Emblem Engage. So I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem Engage. But if a Persona 3 remake comes out, I'd be far more interested in that game than the Persona 3 Portable Remaster game that we're getting soon here. Because a Persona 3 remake is far more exciting to me. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think about everything that we've discussed here? There is a lot. I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you for the next video. Peace.